So the first thing uh, is just to come here into Blackboard, and under the course information, there's a file waiting, waiting and ready to go for you. So you just click on that, and it will bring up a download here or wherever your downloads end up on your machine. Just click on that. If you already have SPSS on your machine or you're at the computer lab that has SPSS, that is just going to open right up in SPSS automatically for you. Uh, so you, you won't have to do anything else other than click on that file and you're set to go. Now how do you choose a variable? This is the short version. There's a longer version on Blackboard. If you're not totally comfortable and you need a little more description, check out that link instead of this one. If you're pretty comfortable with what's happening here, then this is SPSS. It looks kind of like a spreadsheet, almost like you'd see in Excel. But the biggest difference from what you may be used to is that there are two views, the data view here and the variable view here. So if you're on the data view, one, two, three, four, five, six is each individual person. And across in the rows are the answers uh, to each question that produced a different variable up here on top. So this is a variable, S, this is spouse occupational prestige, father's occupational prestige, and so on. If you want this to sort by variables, you click on variable view. Now number one is a variable, number two is a variable, and so on. And what you can do is just come right between label and values and drag it bigger. <clears throat> and now instead of these, these are abbreviations of the variable, now you have a full well, a more complete description of what the variables are. So when you see R, that's respondent. So this is respondent's occupational prestige score, respondent's socioeconomic index. And what you can do, you're going to see there are a lot of variables in the GSS. So well over 800 variables that you can choose from. So this assignment's going to take a little bit of work. But it's actually not too bad. So maybe, oh, see next rated movie in the last year. Maybe you're interested in that. Now the key is to choose an independent variable that can predict your dependent variable. It needs to make sense. Um, so if you say, how well does seeing an R-rated movie, uh, an X-rated movie in the last year, predict someone's race? Well, it doesn't. Um, it, it doesn't make any sense to think about it that way. So you need to think about something that you're interested in in terms of research that you maybe want to explore, something that makes sense. So does owning a gun uh, make people feel safer uh, to walk in their neighborhood at night? Those are both variables that are in here. Um, does income predict happiness? Something that sort of makes sense in your mind. Uh, really there's not a lot of restriction here as far as what you choose and you can still change it. It's not locked in stone. Uh, on, on this first assignment. Um, but if you choose good strong variables now it'll help you throughout the semester. We'll be using the, these for each of your report based exams that you'll be taking. So it helps to have variables that make sense to you that you can think through because throughout the semester you're going to put those in SPSS and do some analysis and if, if the variables don't make sense to you in the first place I've seen that with students that ends up just being even more confusing as we go and we analyze more and more data. So good luck to you and send me an email or contact me through Blackboard if you have further questions and good luck on assignment number one.